How's it going? I'm Brandon Lee, and I've got with me the DJI RS4 Gimbal. This is part one of my tutorial series about the RS4, and I'm gonna take you through step-by-step step how I conceptualize the shot, how I work them out creatively, and then how I technically execute the shot so you can run out and try your own cinematic shots with your gimbal. So you're gonna see me use the RS4 in action, you're gonna see my actual results, and you're gonna see step-by-step step how I do everything. So, hope you're excited, let's go ahead and get started. This shot is gonna use the technique that I call wide, close, wide. And he starts far away from camera, he moves up close to camera, and then he moves further away from camera again. So I'm able to tell the story all in one shot through blocking of the actor and movement of the camera. And I'm gonna take you through that process right now. I have my gimbal in pan, tilt, follow mode. And the way you access pan, tilt, follow mode on the RS4 is with the switch on the right hand side. And in pan tilt follow mode, my follow speed is gonna be custom. I've set it to 52. And I just do this through trial and error. I set a speed that allows me to go as fast as I need to go while being as smooth as possible. And 52 is sort of halfway, so it's a good balance of speed and smoothness. The way I'm gonna handle focus for the shot is I'm in autofocus mode, AFC, continuous autofocus. And in my focus menu, I'm changing my AF transition speed to four and my AF subject shift sensitivity to three. So these are medium settings for both the transition speed and the subject shift sensitivity so that the focus is able to shift subjects but it doesn't do it too quickly. This is because at the beginning of the shot we're seeing a wide shot of the whole city and then the subject has to pick up the face of my actor Kevin as he moves up the staircase and stay locked on him throughout the rest of the shot. So I do need the subject to shift with the focus. I do need there to be a subject shift, but I don't want it to happen so fast that it looks visually jarring. That's why I use the medium subject shift sensitivity of three and the transition speed of four. So when you're planning a shot like this, you can think of it in terms of marks. So a mark in filmmaking is a specific point on the ground that either the camera or the actor has to hit during the shot. So I'm gonna have three marks for this shot. The first mark is right here, facing out toward the courtyard. And the camera's gonna be facing up like this. This is mark one. And then I'm gonna do my movement, swinging around like this, and move to mark two. So mark two is down here, the lower angle, where I get my close up of Kevin as he's looking around. And while he's looking around, I'm spinning, I'm spinning, and then I'm moving toward mark three, here, facing the fountain in a wide shot. And I'm just gonna keep slowly creeping back after I've hit mark three to give a nice smooth outro to the shot. So we've got mark one, mark two, and mark three. Action. Now I'm gonna do a really quick lens change out here on the street. All I'm gonna do is detach the focus motor, like you see here. I just turned it a little bit out like that, so it's not touching the lens. Then I take my lens off, and very quickly pop on my next lens, and I'm using the Samyang VAF Cine Lens Series, which is a matched set of lenses. These lenses are all the same size and weight, so I don't need to rebalance. And then I'm gonna take off my magnetic variable ND filter from one lens, this is an H&Y magnetic VND. And then I just drop it straight on the other lens. And with a quick tweak of my focus motor, putting that back in place, I am ready to shoot. That's all it takes. About 15 seconds to change a lens. Let's go for ice cream. I mean, there's a place actually around the corner called Messino. You ever had the gelato there? Yes! 
Okay, let me take you to somewhere cooler. What flavor are you craving? Um, mint chocolate chip. Mint chocolate chip. Coffee crunch. Good choice. Uh, honeycomb vanilla. Very, very good choice. Raspberry swirl. Nice, let's do that. Next, I'm gonna do a walk and talk shot. So I'm gonna have two actors who are walking and talking, and I'm going to adapt my gimbal move to whatever they do. So they're gonna start on these steps, they're gonna walk down, and they're gonna move across the street and continue moving through the market. And I am gonna improvise my camera move around them. My gimbal is gonna be in FPV mode, so it's following my pan, my tilt, and my roll, and this gives me sort of a looser feel to my shot. So this allows me to improvise a bit more freely with my movement. For my focus in this scene, I'm going to use manual focus to start with, but I will switch it to autofocus when they reach the bottom of the steps. This is because the beginning of the scene starts with the characters out of frame, and then they move into frame, and they move past some foreground obstructions. So in order for the focus not to shift to some subject I don't want, I start in manual. For this shot, I'm gonna take advantage of a really cool feature of the RS4, which is the ability to control a custom key from the gimbal. So I can either set the record button or the M key to control a custom key of my A7S III camera. And in this case, I'm controlling the AF-MF toggle. So by pressing the button, I can switch it from autofocus to manual focus. Action. Let's go for ice cream. I mean, there's a place actually around the corner called Messino. You ever had the gelato there? Okay, let me take you to somewhere cooler. What flavor are you craving? Um, mint chocolate chip. Mint chocolate chip. Raspberry swirl. Nice, let's do that. One more trick I'm gonna be able to do with this shot is because I'm shooting in FPV mode and because the movement of the gimbal is a little bit more organic feeling, I'm able to make it feel like a handheld shot in post by adding a little bit more camera shake. So here's an example of the original shot. And now here's how it looks with some camera shake added in post for a handheld feel. And I can choose the degree of shake that I add later. For this next shot, I'm gonna use the Focus Pro motor, which is an optional accessory for the RS4 that lets you manually control focus of your lens from the gimbal. So the motor's attached here to my Samyang VAF 75 millimeter lens. The lens has built-in focus gears, which are really convenient because that means that it's very easy to attach this Focus Pro motor. All I have to do is put the rod onto the base plate of the RS4 and then align the focus gears with the gears on the lens. Then I plug in the USB-C cable to the appropriate port on the RS4 and I'm ready to go. The control for the Focus Pro is right here. I'm using my index finger to turn this dial. I'm setting this to a speed of 22, which is pretty slow, and that gives me more fine control over the focus. If the speed was all the way up at 100, then it would shift focus very fast when I move my finger like this, and that would make it a lot harder to achieve precise focus, and you need to be precise, especially with a 75 millimeter lens. The M button is set up to control the focus zoom. So when I press this M button, the LCD will zoom in to give me a punched in focus assist. And I can get really precise focus that way without having to actually touch the camera. So we've got AF-MF here to switch between auto and manual. And then we've got focus zoom here. Assigning two custom keys is actually a new feature of the RS4 and it makes it extra useful for me for trying to do manual focus on the gimbal. So I'm putting the gimbal in lock mode. It's not gonna follow pan, tilt, or roll. It's completely locked off, and it's gonna say pointed straight at the end of the street, right in front of me. And then I'm gonna hold the gimbal up like this, pretty high at the start of the shot. And I'm gonna walk down the street, and I'm gonna turn the focus wheel with my index finger slowly. And I'm gonna finally arrive in a medium shot of Kevin here. Action. Stay there.
Okay, that's it for part one. Once again, I am Brandon Lee. If you want to learn more, there will be two more parts to this tutorial series. Check them out on my channel. If you want to learn more about the gimbal, there will be a link in the description to the RS4 and the Focus Pro combo. And I also have a film school, Unscripted Studio. There will be a link to that as well. So hope you learned a lot. Please click like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.